I just went into Coaches uh, to buy myself something and to get a cup of coffee. Something to do, because I'm not where I'm trying to get better. And my car was parked half a foot over the white line. Half a foot. I paid for the ticket. I, I did it correctly. I didn't park illegally. And then them vultures, them parking attendants, look what they gave me. I, even though I brought a ticket, Wednesday, this, I brought that ticket till nine minutes past four. So I paid two quid to park my car here legally. But because I couldn't get into the parking bay, because there was a car either side, and it forced me to go over that white line by half a foot, they gave me a penalty notice as if I didn't pay. And that disgusts me. Don't they understand that I brought the ticket? Look, I brought it. I brought it. And I still come back to my car for that. They are vultures. They are vultures. And I want to warn everybody, even if you come to a car park like the one I'm in in Priory Street, Colchester, you've got to park your car neatly like that. And if you park it like that, because you was forced to park it like that, you then get a penalty notice. I just can't believe it. Whatever you do in life, they still, they still prosecute you. Whatever you do in life, they still charge you money. They're vultures. Well, I just want to say something to that parking attendant that gave me that ticket. I'm making a video now to expose your laws. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you are parking your car, park it like this. Park it like that. Because if you don't, like I did, I'm slightly over the line. Just slightly over the line. Then you get that. I brought the ticket. I paid to park here. I paid to park here till 4.03. I paid to park here to 403, and then the parking attendant, who's a vulture, came to my car at. Three twenty-three, three twenty-three. So within the time that I paid to park here, he's came and thought, oh, even though he's got a ticket, he's a little bit over that line. He didn't ask me why I'm over that line, because the car next to me forced me to park like that. Because I've got a bad ankle, doesn't matter about that. I'm going to get a penalty notice, even though I brought the ticket. And that, to me, is disgusting. And I just want to warn other drivers, please don't make the mistake I made. Whenever it comes to parking your car in one of these vulture car parks, one of these places where they're vultures, yeah, I admit that I parked it over that line. But I had to because the car next to me was over it too and there was, and there was nowhere else to park. I thought, because I paid to park here, it wouldn't matter if I'm like that much over. How would it matter? by a civil enforcement officer that can't even look me in the eyes because I have children that that money would have gone to which should have been better for them. But no, how about persecute me? How about charge me money because I paid to park here until nine minutes past four. So at 23 minutes past three, they come along to my car and slap a penalty charge notice on my car. They do that. Because I paid to park here and it was a little bit over the white line. The tire's not over it, but the spoiler is. Ladies and gentlemen, it just dis disgusts me how people sleep at night by charging me 
I paid to park here. I could have found somewhere illegal and parked, tried to get out of paying anything. But no, I pay my way like everyone should pay their way. I pay my council tax. I pay my taxes. I pay my parking bloody bill. I pay everything. We all do. And what do we get for it? We get a penalty charge notice just for parking over that line. Look at that. So now that cost me 50 pounds because my car, I had to park it in that position because there was a car there, a car there. I had to park my car in that position to park it there. So shall we read the parking notice charge that I got? Shall we hear their reason, their excuse? Because I've got a parking ch charge ticket when I pay to park here. But that doesn't matter. I might as well have parked here and not bothered paying. I might as well find somewhere illegal to park and not bother paying them. Because I get bloody fined anyway for paying it. It upsets me and it annoys me that I pay to park somewhere and they still give me a penalty charge notice. And that to me is disgusting. And I think all councils, all people that own car parks all around the world should not charge people for parking in their, in their bay for being a little bit over because the car next to it forced it to do that. And I get charged for it when I pay to park here. And I think that is a disgusting. And I think people should share this video and expose car parks, expose people that do this, because I am in them lines. I'm just slightly over the front, because I can't get in, I'm not out the back, I'm not over there, I'm in the, I'm in the lines, look. I am in the bloody lines. One line, one line, I'm in it, I'm in it. Look, I'm in the bloody lines. All it is, is that the bloody front is there, it's, it's not even on the pavement. So that cost me 50 quid for getting a ticket and paying to park here. Do you know what? I think I should be a bad boy like when I was younger. Maybe I should just go and find somewhere illegal to park. Because maybe I wouldn't get a parking offence for that. I just hope the person that fined me for parking here is very happy with himself. Because I'm not far over that line. And I was forced to park there because the car next to me and the car there left me no choice. I didn't actually see it. And when I come back to my car and saw a parking charge notice, I had a lump in my throat and I thought this needs to be filmed. Look at that. Bloody that. Parking charge notice. When I paid to be here till 10 past four, I paid. But they come here at 23 minutes past three. Come here, you bastards. So, by a civil enforcement officer who had reason to believe that the following convaction had occurred and that a penalty charge is now payable. Parking beyond the bay marking. Parking beyond the bay marking. My wheels are within it. The spoiler's over it. That, to me, is not doing anything wrong. Look at it. It's a principle. I pay to park here so I can go and have a coffee and have a bit of chill-out time with Abraham, you know? A bit of, like chill out. I thought I paid my way. I've got an hour to have some fun and chill out. But no, they don't want to do that. They want to ruin my day. How can they ruin my day? Give me a parking notice. For what? For paying to be there? Nah. For parking beyond the bay markings. There you go. So you tell me, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes because we're, we've got a sore ankle, or it's rainy, or there's cars parked either side of you, 
You sometimes can't park your car like that. Sometimes you're not able to park your car like that because there's a car either side of you. They don't care about that situation. They just charge you 50 pounds for paying to park somewhere because even though you're doing things by the book, they will still find something to nick you on. All the time. You're happy they nick you. You're sad they nick you. You bloody, you, you support a football team you hated. You go somewhere and there's some sort of shit going on. So whatever you do in life, you can't win. But I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I am gonna share this video to all the places in the world where parking people watch it. And I'm gonna expose them because I don't think that I should be fined 50 pounds for parking my car where I went over the line by a spoiler by a half a foot because the car either side of me wouldn't allow me to park straight. That was the easiest way I could park. I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't see nothing on any notices about parking within these little gaps. I mean, come on. The line here and the line there, I'm within it. I'm within that line. I'm within this line. I'm within that line. I'm within it. But then my front of my car. The wheels are inside it, but the spoilers come over by by about a foot. So that means I have to pay 50 pounds because I didn't realize you got nicked for parking half a foot over a white line. Ladies and gentlemen, don't make the same mistake I made. Make sure that when you park your car, you park it like a good Samaritan. I might even go and join the Samaritans now because I feel sick. It's nothing against the Samaritans, but I feel that there's no justice. I feel that when you try and do things by the book, they still give you penalty charges. This is how you got to park your car, ladies and gentlemen. Nice and perfect, like that. That's what you got to do. And me, because I was forced to park like this, we're gonna give me a 50 pound fine because I paid to park here. I paid all the other bills, but no, he's over the white line by half a foot. So that means that we're gonna give him a parking charge notice. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Parking Person. I hope that you're very happy that I got fined for paying to park here. I pay to park here, and what do I get, ladies and gentlemen? I get a 50 pound fine for being legal, for being proper, just because I didn't park within the white line, which I didn't see any signs to say that, but still, just don't make the same mistake I made, ladies and gentlemen, because that really can ruin your day. That can ruin your week when you've got to pay someone 50 pounds, when you pay to park somewhere, and because you went over the white line by a half a foot, you will now have to pay the parking fine. It is disheartening, it is soul breaking, and life is something that happens why parking people go around and ruin your day. Shine on everybody, and don't make the same mistakes I made. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, park like a Samaritan. And don't park like a person like I do, because I was forced to. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, share this, share this video. You've got my permission to share it and show people not to make the mistakes I made because I thought paying to park here that I wouldn't have no worries. I didn't think I'd get a parking ticket for being a spoiler over a white line. I thought, you know, what are they going to go to next? They're going to give you a parking ticket because you left your window open. They give you a parking ticket because your tyre's not up to the right 
the right height or your car's dirty oh his car's dirty let's give him a parking ticket oh he's got a smile on his face let's give him a parking ticket oh his car is half a foot over the white line let's give him a parking notice for that thank you very much mr parking warden thank you very much and shine off Share this video, ladies and gentlemen, and save someone 50 quid, because I didn't realise you can get fined parking half a foot over a white line when there was no science to say so. I'm gutted, ladies and gentlemen, and I love you all, and shine on, and please share this video, and please show the lengths that these parking people go to to ruin your day. Shine on, everybody, and please don't get a parking charge notice. It's no good. It's no good, ladies and gentlemen.